Last year, I was thinking about uh, trying to get more of our people involved uh, in riding, and, and um, I thought that there's probably a couple of things that keep people from doing it. One is, uh, you know, the fear of having to go out and, and fundraise, um, and the other is just not uh, having the equipment to be able to go out and ride. So uh, I thought about it last year, I thought, well, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, try to recruit people to do it and, uh, and be willing to supply them with either the equipment that they need to ride or uh, if they uh, already have the bike, um, then uh, I would take that money and put it towards uh, their fundraising and, and match you know, their fundraising up to $900. The Friday that he sent the email out regarding you know, opening this up to the company and, and the offer to help with fundraising or the equipment, it was the Friday before my surgery and I was having a pretty bad day. Uh, just dealing with it mentally. And I opened up the email, I remember it was earlier in the day, probably 10-ish, something like that, and it immediately turned my spirits. It just, you know, he didn't send the email out to do that, but that's the effect it had on me. And I think I was the first one to respond to him and said, yes, I'm in. My first reason for getting started in Pelotonia is my wife's a cancer survivor. And so I always thought, well, what could I do? And so when the Germains put forth the idea of participation, I jumped at the chance. The fundraising, we did car washes here, um, raffles, which were great, um, and just got the word out. Pamphlets, flyers, um, that's all you have to do. A customer of mine I, I had emailed and reached out to, um, she uh, had told me that her son had passed away from cancer when he, was, when he was 30, which I had no idea. To hear that from her and to hear her story, she sent me a really, really long email along with a $100 donation. You really feel that connection after they send you something like that and let you know what, what happened in their life. I didn't sleep the night before. It's hard to describe the amount of people, the, the energy. It was, uh, it was pretty amazing to, to be in the center of all that. To go off all together as a team uh, was great. We trained together. We wanted to stay together. Riding through Granville and seeing the people being involved and cheering the riders on, it's just overwhelming. Going up through the hills, there were always people lined up, holding their signs and cheering, and it, and it kept you motivated. We were somewhere between Granville and I think Gambier, and there was a gentleman on the side of the road, and it said, thanks for saving my wife's life. That's mind-numbing, it's crazy what this event does and just the awareness that it brings. People appreciate the fact that, that we're willing to spend the time uh, to ride and, and to raise the money for the James. Oh, it's going awesome. Uh, we just did the first 18. Um, a lot of people here, it's a great event. I'm ready to do, do some more. Man, it's a great experience, a great cause. Um, having the time of my life right now. I'm just bringing up the rear, so I, you know, I, I gotta stay behind and make sure everybody gets here. Otherwise, I'd be way out front. <laughs> Crossing the finish line, all of the people, the, the, the bells, the cheering, the chanting, it's just overwhelming. I've never, never had tears from riding a bike before, um, especially at the very end when my dad was at the finish line waiting for me, uh, being able to ride basically right up to him and kind of have a, a huge big hug and cry together was, was something, something very special. We made it. Part of the thing that kept me going is, you know, my wife never quit. I can't think that this is tough when somebody is battling cancer. That's tough. You know, some of my training rides, I would often pass by the actual Wexner Medical Center and I would look up and I was huffing and puffing and having a hard time and look up there and that was my motivation to get off the saddle and, and stand up on the pedals and put that extra mile in, that extra two or whatever. When Mr. Germain presented this opportunity to us, I thought, you know, wow, how, how could someone who is the least been interested not jump at the chance to partake in something like that? He crafted this thing in such a way that he all of a sudden, you know, brought in a whole different group of people, larger group of people that before may have wanted to participate like me, but weren't able to. It just speaks to the quality of the company and the quality of the people that, that own it and run it. And uh, I couldn't be prouder to work for them. I couldn't be happier that they did this. To go from zero riders at the beginning of the year all the way up to 46 riders just shows that incredible way that um, his generosity led to the recruitment within the Peloton. We are incredibly proud um, to be able to tell people that, you know, the Germain, they stepped up, they did it big, and they didn't back down, and, and they ended up being the largest of those first year. The sense of community, the sense of unity, 
uh, the team building that went on during the training. Uh, it's just overall, it's just a, such an engaging experience. It's definitely something that I think everybody should try at least once in their life. And, you know, who knows? You, you may fall in love with it like I did and plan on doing it every single year after that, so. We've truly never seen an example like this before. We really believe this is going to inspire so many other business owners and community leaders to do the same thing, to mobilize their communities and their employees, and we couldn't be more excited about that. This is a first-year Peloton. It's the highest ever first-year Peloton fundraising team, and we are just so grateful that they decided to get so engaged, so involved. The winner of the New Kids on the Bike Award is the team from Germain. Please help me welcome Sarah Jane and Paul Germain.